Welcome back to Best Aussie Booze News and Reviews, People My People. Now before you, you have possibly the largest collection of alcohol I've ever presented on screen. Let me pan to show you just the true joy of it. So, you got to admit something's up. So, we've all tried and um, kind of like suffered because we've drunk a Long Island iced tea. So I got to thunking and when I thunk my thunk, I thought, you know, there's a shit ton of really good booze in Victoria. So, what I've done is I am putting together and I present to you, drum roll. Yeah, that's just me tapping on the table. The Phillip Island iced tea, because it's not going to, in Victoria, Phillip Island is a long island. It's not terribly wide. You can walk across it in a couple of hours. So, the premise of the Phillip Island iced tea is all the booze has to be sought within 400 kilometers of where I'm standing in Melbourne Southeast. So, Echuca's Gold Agave, let me present that first out, we'll give it the applause, is up on the Murray. So, that's possibly the furthest away. Port Phillip Distillery is distilled about two kilometers from my joint and is sold at the gin dispensary. Jimmy Rum is in Dramana on the peninsula, on the Ninch. Newbelum, uh, not Newbelum, how dare I misspeak. Killick Distillery's Tiki Zest is up in Belgrave, so that's about 30 kilometers away from me. And Bond Beach Organic Dry is, it's also on, surprise, surprise, Bond Beach, about 10 kilometers to my south. Now, the Tiki Zest takes the place of the Cointreau or the Triple Sec in this baby. So I have brewed some tea before. In fact, the only non-Victorian ingredient in this is Narada tea because tea, surprise, surprise, does not grow in Victoria. Lots of the species, um, same genus, the Camellia, grows in Victoria, but not that. So what I'm going to do is, um, I took the liberty of brewing up some tea before. So I'm going to pour that into my glass. Carefully. Open. Yep, I spilled it. It's all over the joint. Honestly, and these people would trust me to hold on a regular job. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, there we are. Yep. Thank God this is not plugged in. For fuck's sake, will someone get me a bucket? One moment. Sorry, just realised that the reason why everything's leaking out is my glass is broken. Okay, so we're going to put this minus some glass shards into... A new glass, okay. A much taller glass, a more wholesome glass, and I will pour some more tea back in a moment. Did you keep yourself gainfully occupied? So I'm going to pour some tea that I had brewed definitely earlier into this, okay. So about yeah, that much looks good. And tonight I'm going to do liberal shots of stuff because that's basically I'm that sort of guy um that's his first sound of happiness actually they're all they're all corks tonight so a shot of the golden agave from a chicken distillery that's going in one down four to go the Port Phillip distillery's vodka very very smooth Hang on. Not the sound of happiness. Good thing about me. When I screw up, I don't do it by half measures. Not by a long stretch. So, a liberal shot of that. Now, I did initially, when I was test driving this on the other half, make it with Jimmy Rum's Navy Strength Cane Spirit. Which she said was delicious, but um, <laughs> she got wasted real quick. So, worked for me, worked for her, she got cut, worked for me very well. So, shot of that. That goes in. The Triple Z Tiki Killick Distillery. That goes in. We are hearing relentless sounds of happiness. Yep. And 
Sorry, David Dean. You are the last. The you're the final straw, David Dean. Organic bays. One beach organic try. Very subdued sound of happiness. So we will pour a shot of that in. Now, if you guys have been paying attention and drunk a Long Island iced tea, it's a really fucking good way to get wasted real quick. Um, and this will be no exception. So what I'm going to do is use God's original stirring stick. Yep. Oh, fuck. Sorry. The Long Island iced tea is not known for um, not exactly being the least alcoholic beverage you will consume in any given week. So, for now, let me start the um, beverages again. I give you Bond Beach Organic Dry, sourced 20 kilometers from southeastern suburbs. It's actually in the Bayside suburbs. Tiki Zest in Belgrave. Jimmy Rum's Rum Rum from Dramana. Mm -hmm. The uh, premium vodka from Port Phillip Distillery, aka G the gin dispensary in Beau Morris, and the golden agave from Echuca up on the Murray. It's all Victorian booze and Narada tea, which I believe is grown outside Cairns. So that is the Phillip Island iced tea because if you go and check them out, Phillip Island is Victoria's Long Island. It's about, I don't know, 20 kilometers long. Is it 20 kilometers long? Someone who's holding the rest of the stage together and holding this entire uh, cocktail measure together says, eh, no, no idea, don't know. So it is nevertheless Victoria's Long Island. So rather than the Long Island iced tea, the Phillip Island iced tea. Now go out and buy them. And given the amount of booze that you, you're about to drink, you're going to be one very happy camper. Take care and I'll try not to break any more glasses. I'm such a fucking idiot.